Hi, this video will show you how to set up FASM on a Windows computer. Just go to your search engine and search for FASM. And then go to download. And we'll be setting up the Windows version right here. And save the file to your downloads folder. And now I'm going to open up my file explorer. Go to downloads. And one thing is, notice it says FASMW17327.zip. Make sure that you always have your file name extensions enabled. By default, they're disabled. And without that, then I've just seen so much confusion about the names of files. If it, without that, it doesn't show you the full file name. Okay, so FASM, uh, the zip folder. So I'm going to right click on it and extract all. And so it's extracting it. And anyway, I'm just going to close that little window out. So here we're back to the original file explorer. So here's the same zip folder, which you don't really have to keep. It's in your downloads. You can delete it if you want. And so here is what it created, it extracted. Now, uh, you need to put it somewhere else. Downloads is not a good place, is a temporary folder, is not a good place. So I'm going to cut it and I'm just going to put it in documents. You could actually put it in your program files if you want to, but I'm just going to put it here in documents and then I'm going to paste it. So there is my folder. Okay, so now if we go into it, here are your, uh, here are your executables. The executable that I'll be using is the Windows, FASMW for Windows.exe. So that's so you just click on that to execute it. But let's go ahead and right click on it and create a shortcut. Uh, where's, where am I? Wait just a second. Right click and create shortcut. I don't know what was going on there. Okay, so right click on it, create a shortcut. Here's the shortcut. You can put it wherever you want. You can put it on the desktop or you could put it down here. You can rename the shortcut to just uh, FASM, if you, to call, FASM W, I guess, F or just FASM, it's fine. Okay, so there's your shortcut that will execute this program right here. And so now, if I execute it, it opens, uh, first a security warning because it's a new executable on your pro on your uh, computer, if, you know, Windows Defender, so run anyway. You'll just see that one time. Okay, so here's the actual program. Okay, so now one thing that I really like is to change the colors in it. And it's a real simple editor and compiler. There's just not a lot of options. But to change the colors in it, you go to Options and Appearance. And what I like is for the, here's the different things you can change right here. What I like is for the font, uh, I just go ahead and you can enlarge it if you want, but I just go ahead and make it bold so you can actually see it a little bit better. And then for the text color, I like white. And then for the background color, I like the black. And then for the, uh, I just leave the selection colors. For the symbols color, I've been using orange. And for the numbers color, I've been using, what about, uh, I've been using green, bright green. And then for the strings color, I've been using cyan. And for the comments color, uh, I've been using like a middle blue. So, I mean, it's kind of like I'm selecting this blue right here, but I kind of like it brighter. So i just been brighten it up a little bit right there. But that's completely up to you which colors you want to use on there. You know, too bad there aren't themes that you can already just select a theme and be done with it all. Okay, so now uh, let's go ahead and test it. So I'm going to open up Firefox again. And uh, I'm going to go to my website and go to my computer organization class, go to assembly and hello world. And so now here's a hello world program. So I'm gonna copy it, control C, and then go back to here, 
control V to paste it. So here's the hello world program. Uh, the files need to be saved with the .asm extension. So I'm going to name it hello.asm. So whatever you name it is fine, but just the .asm extension. So notice it should be saved on the desktop. Now I'm going to go ahead and just, I can run this now, but I'm going to close it out to show you something else. So right now the .asm extension is not registered to this program in Windows, meaning you'd have to open this program, then open up the um, the assembly program. So what I'm going to do, just I'm just going to double click on it. And how do you want to open this file since it's not registered yet? So I'm just going to go ahead and go on more apps right here and look for another app on this PC. And what I'm going to do is just go and find that phasmw.exe. So I put it in documents and then there's the folder. And then here it is, phasm. Make sure you do the phasmw, not phasm. And then open. And so now it, this is... Uh, now, how do you want to open the file? Now you can just select flat assembler and hit OK. So now you can just double click on ASM files and it will launch it in the flat assembler. OK, and then to run it, you just go uh, hit run or F9. And so it will launch and prints out hello world. And that is it. And notice it created the executable right here. Um, okay, that's it.